we are talking about our top five quick service restaurants at Walt Disney World. Okay, so a quick service is where you go up to a counter, I take your order, you quickly take your food, you eat it, and you head off to the park. You just want to just fill a hole until dinner time. It's a quick stop, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a quick stop. You can find hidden gems in quick service. It's not just always your burgers, your chips, your chicken nuggets. It is really, really good food sometimes when you That's really right. know where to look for it. So here are our top five. Right, so we'll start with number five, which is Kona Island at Polynesian Resort. Yeah. And it's right next to Kona Cafe, isn't it? Yeah, and this is, if you love sushi, it is a sushi lover's dream. Yeah, you, ma you, may, have seen, you, you <laughs> may have seen from our vlog that I ordered sashimi thinking <laughs> it was like, it was my idea to go, wasn't it? I really wanted sushi at the time. You ended up getting some, what did you have in the end? Uh, is it dragon roll sushi something like that? Yeah, it was something like that, but it was actually like really good quality sushi. The fish was really nice. The vegetables in it was really nice. It was beautifully presented yeah, for a was. quick service. Um, so if you love sushi, I would highly recommend going. And I had that sashimi, didn't I? Which yeah. Was... And if you do like sashimi, it was good. Wrong. It was nice. It was Just really good wanted, quality so. It was really good quality, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Right, so moving on to number four, which is Wolfgang Puck Express at Disney Springs. Yeah, this is in the marketplace, and you wouldn't actually believe that it was a count of the service, no. would you? They treat you just as well as you were at a table service. Um, I, I didn't know it was count of service until you told me after. I, I generally thought we'd been for a meal, like, you yeah. know, a sit down meal. Uh, you get proper plates, proper cutlery, which obviously, if you've been to Disney before, you know that that's not a standard. Yeah. Um, but it was really, really good. It was I had, good. I asked the guy, I was torn between, I think, the mac and cheese and the lasagna. I was like, what do you recommend? Mm. And he recommended the mac and cheese and he didn't steer me wrong. It yeah, was, it was so like, good. It, it looked at you as if you had to choose. And yeah, it was no, like, like um, mac and cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but it was really tasty. And it was like a really nice atmosphere as well. Yeah, like, it was. It was really chilled. The wait was really nice as well. Yeah, you get a waiter. Waitress. You get right. a waiter. Have like a <laughs> counter yeah. service with a waiter. Yeah. And I had the spaghetti and meatballs, didn't I? Yeah. That was really nice. I don't really like meatballs usually, but I went, I was, I went in there to get pizza. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I had I had meatballs and they were really nice. Actually, so, we only went in here by mistake. Yeah, it's it was, because we were meant to go to Earl of Sandwich. But it was a massive queue, wasn't there? And everywhere we wanted to go, the biggest queue, so we were like, oh, we'll just go here. We sort of stumbled grow. upon it, didn't we? And it was like one of the best things to be. We'd go trip. again, wouldn't we? Yeah, definitely. So number three is Casey's Corner. I feel like this is just... Casey's Corner's the one. So I left my heart in Casey's Corner. I love Casey's Corner. I think because it's just on Main Street as well, as you walk up there, you have to go in, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really like a massive hot dog fan, but I'm not their hot dogs are so good. They are really good. And, um... I love people watching, and it's one of those, if you just... You know, so you're so nosy. I'm so nosy. <laughs> like, I just like to sit there with my massive hot dog, just watching people go down Main Street. Yeah, but it's nice if, like, if there's a parade on, yeah, or, or, or someone on at the castle, you can see that. Or if you're lucky enough, you've got that guy yeah. who plays the piano, and you've got ducks walking around with the ball, the time's doing your food. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's just it's good there, isn't it? It is. Like, you feel like you're in Magic Kingdom. Like, I will never ever sit inside Christ's Corner, I'll always have to... Yeah, we've always... I sit outside, I stand outside. Yeah, it's quite hard to get a seat. You know, yeah. But there are booths you can stand at, so... With map tables, aren't there? And the corn dog nuggets. Are the one. You have to get corn can dog we nuggets. Talk about the we, corn dog nuggets? We got them twice, didn't we? Yeah, like, it was... I'm leaving my own. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's a definite must-do. Casey's corn. Yeah. Who is Flame Tree Barbecue at Animal Kingdom? And that's something we've done on both of our trips now, isn't it? Yeah, it's like every time we go to Animal Kingdom, we have to go to Flame Tree Barbecue. It's so good. I don't even know if they've got any other food in Animal Kingdom. I'm just like so focused. We don't even look at the menu, do we? Yeah. We just go in pull pork sandwich, please. <laughs> I know that they do ribs and stuff, but I know that they make their own barbecue sauce. I think they've got like, correct me if I'm wrong, like three different variations. Good. They're really good. I have loads and loads of seats. It's really, really pretty to look around as yeah, well. You've got loads of birds flying over and yeah. So it's just it's a good, good, good place to go. Yeah. I highly recommend it. I know they do ribs and I know that they do like different variations of like barbecue food. It's just if you want to do anything in Animal Kingdom, go and have a pulled pork burger. <laughs> Tag us in it. <laughs> Tag us in it. Tag us in it. Tell me how good it is. That's all I want to know. 
So number one is be our guest quick service at lunch. It's so, so good. Yeah, it's something we did on our first trip. We didn't actually do it on our second trip, but that's only because we have already experienced it. Yeah, we wanted to try different things around. Yeah. Um, but they open up for lunch for quick service. You don't need a reservation. We didn't wait long at all. Not I've at heard all. people had to wait long, but we didn't have to. Not at all. And I know that you can pre-order now. Yeah. I, I haven't looked into it properly, but I know that you can pre-order. Um, but you can go up to this little desk. You put what you want in. You get a little rose. You choose your seats. Um, and you go into the library. You can sit in the West Wing. There's like a little room with like... Sounds like a music box with them like dancing in here. Yeah. And when you go in there... Like, I cried my eyes out. Beauty and the Beast is one of my favourite princesses, like, princess films. So to see that come to life and I can go and eat with the Beast if I wanted to, like, in the same room. Especially the, the ballroom as well. It was just... Just mind-blowing. It, it genuinely took my breath away. The food isn't the best. No, like, not. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, this food's great, you have to try it. But the thing... <laughs> but, like, the theming alone just makes up for everything. Yeah, it, it was... It was perfect. When the last petal drops in the West Wing, do you know the picture of Adam? Yeah. yeah. We've got scratches in it. I think like he turns into Adam or he turns into the beast. Something happens and it's so cool. And you got like the snow from the windows and you know it's scorching outside. Yeah. It's, oh, I just but love the, it. That's why it's our number one. Not necessarily for the quality of the food, but just because of everything. Like yeah. Hayley just mentioned the theme and just everything, it's such a surreal... Even when like, you're queuing and... to go in, I think we had a lady who took us in and she was holding like a Lumiere kind of candle yeah. and like the... Oh, what are they called? The knights? Like yeah. the knights yeah. armour. They were like talking and I was mm. like, let me say something. <laughs> it was just so good. Like I just... Never been so more overwhelmed with like a restaurant that's quick service. That just... I know that you get a different experience at dinner. Yeah. I know that you can see and meet the beast and obviously... I've heard dinner's meant to be really good. So if you are, if you are thinking about getting a reservation, do it for dinner. If you're more interested in the food, I'd get one for dinner. Yeah. Um, but if you just want to go in there, something quick to look around, um, I would definitely suggest lunch. Mm -hmm. But that's why I'd say it's my number one. Yeah. Every time somebody like mentions it to me, I'm like, you've got to go for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. So yeah, that's our top five quick service restaurants at Walt Disney World. Let us know what yours are, if there's anything that we've missed or anything you don't agree with that yeah. you're like, this is bad. Let yeah. us know because we want to try more quick service and yeah. more snacks and more table service. So let us know in the comments below just what you recommend us to try. Yeah. You might find us a hidden, hidden gem that we've not, That's right, yeah. not known before. So don't forget to give it a like, a comment and subscribe if you like it. If there's any other videos you want to see, like we said in our last video on the build up to our May trip, just leave us a comment down below and yep. we'll film it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.